Welcome back to this special edition of the World Trade Webcast. Today we're continuing with the fifth and final part of our five-part interview with Rolf Larsen, CEO of the DOT Global Registry. Rolf, let's continue our discussion by talking about how registering a DOT Global domain can help a company grow. Yeah. Um, so, um, to grow a company and to grow a brand online today is, uh, is all about uh, capturing the traffic to your uh, online branding and uh, actually having more, more relevant domain names pointing to your brand uh, will increase the likelihood of getting that traffic. Uh, and having the relevant words that uh, that uh, consumers or, or other businesses will will use or will trust, uh, nonetheless, uh, is important to to get the relevant traffic that you want to uh, to your websites. So dot global, uh, I think uh, what we're building here is a very uh, uh, a brand name that will gain a lot of trust. Uh, that's uh, at least the strategy we have to to get the right uh, the right companies uh, using it and uh, and uh, having very little abuse within the domain space. Um, we have uh, quite good policies and, and rules to to govern this, and I think uh, owning uh, that global domain will uh, help to get that uh, relevant uh, traffic uh, that you that you want for for business. Excellent. So it helps with brand identity. Uh, it also helps with uh, building traffic and helping uh, consumers and other businesses find my website. Yeah. Does it make sense for a company to uh, take, say, you know, a dot com domain that perhaps it's been on for a decade or more that maybe isn't as good of a name? So it's not my company uh, dot com. It's my company widgets.com, but now I can yeah. have my company.global. How does that benefit me as a business? So uh, it means that you can uh, rebrand yourself uh, online uh, to a, a more easy to remember name and, and, uh, and a name that would be, you know, perhaps b better to spend money uh, on when it comes to, to marketing. It doesn't mean that you need to, to ditch the existing domain names you have, even though you might not uh, like them uh, as much or, or you think they're too long or whatever. Uh, it's always good to keep whatever you, you have if you have traffic on, on those domains. Um, so onla online branding is all about um, you know, having, uh, having a good amount of, uh, of relevant domain names that points to your brand. And, um, and of course, the one that you spend the most money to market should be your main uh, your main address uh, online, and that I think uh, for many companies will be a dot global uh, domain. Excellent. And and from what you've been talking about, it sounds like there are still plenty of really great domain names available on the dot global platform. Yeah, I mean uh, it's uh, it doesn't really compare to to a domain that has been around for decades. We our namespace is what we call very open, so. Uh, Almost anything that you would um, think of, uh, almost any brand that you uh, that you would want to build on a dot global uh, domain name is today available. Of course, uh, after some years, it will be become more uh, saturated with uh, with our domain space as well. But uh, but I don't think uh, I don't uh, think any new domain uh, ending will will be as saturated ever as dot uh, com. Uh, is at least uh, certainly not uh, when uh, when I live. <laughs> yeah. I think I think you're absolutely right. And for our viewers, again, if you go to go. dot global, you can get more information on the dot global registry, including information about registration, and you can also search the database for available names. So, Rolf, thank you again for taking the time to talk with us and to our viewers. Uh, thanks for watching. And you can Thank find you. our entire interview with Rolf Larson, CEO of the Dot Global Registry, online at thinkglobal.com slash webcast. For more information about the Dot Global Domain Registry, again, visit go.global. And Rolf, thanks again and best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, Greg.